everybody, this is Amy Kuhn. We're here at Your Paper Life in the studios, and I have a friend with me who I'm so excited to interview you, Madison. You. This is Madison Parker from Echo Park. Um, so you've brought some yummy stuff, but I, you know, I'm kind of an inquisitive and 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 really wanting to pick your brain a little bit about okay. this. How That's how fine. this all? First of all, I want to know how you get how did you get started into scrapbooking? Okay, well, uh, I was in the right place at the right time. Uh, going back to 1999, I worked with the uh, former, well, actually the owners of My Mind's Eye. Uh, he was my best friend, and his wife started a um, frame ups. It was a line of products called frame ups out of while working part-time at a, a local scrapbooking store. And um, anyway, so he said, my wife's got this, uh, you know, this product she wants to launch. And I was in Iowa at a satellite office uh, at, at that time. And he said, can you drive out to Chicago and, and, um, and meet her out there and help her with the show? So I came out there, didn't know anything. I'm this guy in this industry, it's all <laughs> girls. And, uh, oh, and on, here, you yeah, that, really, you know, and the funny thing is, is that, <laughs> They didn't even have me selling. I mean, I, my job was to put the displays together and mm -hmm. just sit back and, and let the girls do the, the work. But anyway, what, what turned out to be uh, just a little help at that time ended up them asking me to come on uh, full time as their sales director. Um, I started just calling through the list and, and to build a relationship with stores. This is, this is almost 12 years ago. Wow. And um, uh, I built a relationship with stores so that after I'd been with My Mind's Eye for about nine years, I went to a couple other companies, Fancy Pants and Northridge Media, but I felt the time was right. The relationships were in place that I could uh, um, uh, form a company with my friends and, um, and use those relationships, try to give all the customers, all the stores, uh, what they were asking for. Uh, we were releasing such big lines at the time, yes. all the time, yes. large lines, a couple times a year, stores were saying, that's too much, I'm not ready to buy it again. So we thought we would start this company uh, a little differently and that we would bring new product, which we know everyone wants. Everyone wants new, you get sick, we as a society and as people get sick of things really fast. So yeah. so we thought, let's start a company that, um, that produced products every month uh, so that we always had something new but that was, was affordable for stores to bring in. So that's kind of how we started. Uh, and that's how I kind of got into this industry. Um, uh, I was not a crafter or scrapbooker you before were? I got in this industry. No, no, you didn't own a pair of scissors or a trimmer. Gonna, I'm not gonna tell you that I was doing <laughs> that because I wasn't, so. Well, and then unique all the time, I hear Echo Park, what does that mean? Yeah. So how did you come up with the name for this? Well, when you come up with names for companies, it can be tricky. You try a lot of names, you run them across in your head, you ask friends and, Nobody can agree on anything because you, you say the name and once you've said it three or four times yourself, uh, it kind of affects you. You don't really, you're not able to tell if it's cool or not anymore. It's really the first time you hear it if you can tell if it is. So we were trying a lot of different names, but what, what one thing we came back to, we're, I'm from California, me and one of uh, the partners at our company is also from California. A city in California called Echo Park was home to the film studio. Uh, it was home to the film studio in the early um, 1900s. So we wanted to choose a name that meant uh, um, telling a silent story. So, so it was uh, the, the silent films. The then. silent films, yeah. Charlie Chaplin, Laurel and Hardy, all those films were, were made in Echo Park. So we thought, let's, let's choose that name. And, uh, you know, after we said it 10 to 15 times in our head, we thought, that just you know makes what, me, that can work. That yeah. makes me love the name so yeah. much more. I mean, you know, that's such a great yeah, story it. behind it. It's yeah. neat. I love that. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it, that now, it now has a whole new meaning. You get, the fans, Echo Park fans, have made it really cool. Because yeah. I hear Echo Park all the time. Now it sounds way cooler uh -huh. than when it sounded at the beginning. So, Well, and also talk about, you know, the fans and, and Echo Park. You, um, even though you say you based the name, you know, on yeah. the 1800s way back when, right. you have really taken advantage of social media. Yeah. How many fans do you have on Facebook yeah. now? Okay. Um, <laughs> well, as of today, I think it was uh, this morning was 18,630. Wow, that's just unheard um, yeah, of. Yeah, and we started that Facebook page on May of 2010, so on May 5th, no, May 15th. It was crazy. I'd never been on Facebook. I didn't know anything about Facebook. We got the page set up, and then I didn't know anything about it, so I just decided to not go in with any preconceived notions uh -huh, of what uh -huh. I needed to do. I just started being myself on there, and giving stuff away doesn't hurt, I'll tell you. People love that. Yes. But, but 
I think it became, uh, uh, it, it, it took over. It has like a, a mind of its own. It keeps mm -hmm. on going. I mean, people are posting all the time because they want 18,000 people to see what their projects are. Plus the interaction. I thought having interaction with and, people. And you do that. I love that. Like if, if I put a project on that I've used your papers in, you, you make a big deal about that on yeah. Facebook. And that is really, means a lot to people. Yeah. Our crafts are very personal and you're showing that you appreciate that. Yeah. So that's that's been wonderful. Well, you've brought some lines. Let's one, kind of give a... One thing ahead. I do want to say, though, we also have over 4,000 projects posted to our ah. Facebook page. You may not know that when you go over there, but there's a library of every line, uh, all by our consumers that uh, and customers that have that have made something, whatever it is, and posted it on our page. We are so happy that those are there because when people buy uh, our products from us, we... We want them to know what to do with it. We don't just yeah. want them to take it home and have it look Great pretty. Resource. So they can go. They can go to their Facebook page and look at all of the. Uh, they can look at all the projects that are up there. Well, and, and they're real projects. Yeah. It's not they're real. Yeah, nothing. They're not just not yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I like some of the designer ones can become intimidating at times. So yeah, that's absolutely. That's really neat. Sorry okay, let's go that. through here and okay. uh, just real quick show you me some. Uh, give me a taste of um, Echo Park here for those who haven't seen it. Okay, this line we're looking at here is called Happy Days. Uh, this is our newest release. Uh, this one's actually going to ship in uh, just a couple of days. Happy Days was kind of like a for the record, which is our most successful line. Mm -hmm. uh, it's for the record meets the 1950s. It just has really fun, bright colors. All of our papers Very. are double-sided, yes. so you definitely want to make, are you going to be flipping them over? Yes, I will. Okay. All right. I just don't want people to get the impression that we're just a B-side no, company. Not, they are not no, we have hot stuff. It's not just B-sides. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this is Happy Days. We have a few times uh, we have uh, released embellishments with our lines. All of our stuff's made in the USA, at least all of our paper and stickers. And when you release every month, the hardest thing about doing that is you can't really, you know, doing stuff locally allows you to design, print, and get it out to the stores quickly. Mm -hmm. So we've really kept our lines without embellishments, but occasionally we'll add them. And, and, and you have done case, that. Yeah, in this case we have. With Happy Days has embellishments. Um, the actually, the embellishments for Happy Days I do not have. <laughs> uh, Jen, who's going to, you'll see she later, she those. actually has them. She'll we'll show them. Jen in. She's going to do a little project with you guys. Yeah. But show them some, okay. these are some embellishments you yeah. do on your Christmas line you did. So our two new Christmas else. lines, two of the three that we have, we have a traditional Christmas and a non-traditional Christmas. Um, they each have designer brads. They have, we'll just show the ones from the same okay. line. This is the layered chipboard. Sorry for the glare. Um, and there's your holly Yeah, jolly. to give you that three-dimensional look. And then, oh yeah, and then here's the holly jolly stamps. But there's also... Uh, six by 12 uh, chipboard with Holly Jolly as well that I guess I don't have for you to show. But it actually looks like it's this size, but it's... Um, so lots of elements. Design, yeah. You're really... Lots of yeah. elements. We're just, you know, the reason for doing it isn't just because we're an embellishment company. The reason for it is we listen to our fans and what they want. I don't want them to say, oh, I'm an Echo Park fan, and then they never get any of the things that you might get with other companies. Mm -hmm. We bring you the embellishments because we want to give you something. We want to give back to you for all that you've given to us by, by supplying you with elements, even though that's not um, the main part of our business. So right. anyway, we hope you like them and, and uh, we sell out of them every time. So I think, uh, I think you do. So <laughs> no, but, and then yeah. real quick, I just want to show you do have a, a lovely Halloween line out yeah. and a lovely, lovely, lovely yeah. Victoria garden. Oh yeah. Well, and this one too. that's a good one. Madison, I, get I'm going to get um, your little helper, Jen, to come on here yeah, and do a card. That, be great. So yeah. we, we're going to cut out, but okay. I appreciate you coming on so oh, much no and sharing your paper life with us. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you again yeah, soon. Great. Thank Best you. of luck to Echo Park. Okay, thanks. <laughs>Hi, we're back, as I promised, with um, Echo Park designer Jen Gallagher. And Jen, you are going to make this amazing card with me, correct? It is amazing. And yes, we're going to make this card today. And we're doing it with um, Echo Park's Happy Days line. We are. I really, really love this line. Like Madison said, it's kind of got a vintage feel, but updated colors. Exactly. And I just have to point out one thing that I just, it's catching my eye. That soda pop bottle. Do you love that? Oh my goodness. I know. There's fun little icons that will How appeal cute. to everyone. I love the camera. That's my favorite. The camera is cute. And then, I mean, sorry, as I throw those across there, but the brads, I mean, what a variety in a pack. There is. You There's have the generic, the gem, and then you have some image brads. So lots of options in this line. Well, get me started. Let's do this okay, card. So to make this card, we're going to start by 
This is just an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that I've cut in half mm -hmm. and then folded. This is, you can buy pre-made cards, but if you just have cardstock lying around. And then I've pre-cut the double-sided paper. It's the yellow plaid and the number paper. And we're just gonna go ahead and add this to the front of the card. Now you could use the pattern paper, obviously, as a base uh -huh. and make your card straight from there, but I like to have lots of scraps left over, so I always right. cut mine down to right. fit the top of the card. And what it, cards, so what, that's a great way to use your scraps. I agree. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I keep why? them and then pull out, mm -hmm. and it, it always fits a card, so exactly. I agree. Keep your, keep your scraps. And this is the stripe pattern paper, and we're just gonna add that at the bottom okay. here. And then this is fun because on the alphabet sheet, we actually have border stickers too which I'm um, all for border stickers. You can just knock out a card really, really quickly, so. Well, and Echo Park gives you, I mean, that is a lot that of fonts and alphabets. Fonts That's fun. Alphabet. You will probably run out of projects before you run out of letters. Exactly. So one designer tip, instead of starting the border strip from the edge, I always kind of center it, I kind of eyeball it. Mm-hmm and then I trim off the excess. The, oh, mm -hmm. so, so you get that continuous line look, mm -hmm. okay? Neat. So that's just a designer tip that I like to use. So then I'm gonna have you cut out. Okay. We have our journaling cards. Which this is so cute. Aren't they fun? And it's so double-sided, so you have the option of using the journaling cards or, or pattern tape. paper. Okay. We're gonna use this memo okay. card, and so we usually do journaling cards with each line, so we have like a journaling card, it might have an image, and we even have sentiments and words that you can use as well. Nice, nice. Let's see if I get this So on when you're making cards, one thing I like about these journaling cards is for me, they're kind of like an instant background, an instant frame for other objects. So That's what I was thinking. It really makes that, um, the, the embellishment of, of the candy jar pop. Yeah, it does. It just kind of lets it sit on top a little bit. Um, I'm gonna use some glue dots to adhere this. Anytime I'm adding something a little bit thicker, a little bit mm -hmm. heavier, I usually go with a glue dot rather than just a, oh, a more a, dry adhesive. So we're gonna add that right there. And then before we put it all the way down, I wanna add some ribbon. Okay. And so we have lots of different choices and options of ribbon, and we don't offer ribbon at this time, so just whatever you like. I think we probably have some ribbon laying <laughs> You're around. You're like Jen. me. <laughs> I've got gobs and gobs of ribbon. <laughs> so you have the option of tying it into a knot or a bow. I'm just going to go ahead and tie it into a bow. You're a good bow tire, girl. Well, you I've got to use that. Often. Yes, yes, I do love my <laughs> ribbon. I do love my ribbon. And good then job. you can just cut off the excess. Okay. Okay, and so there you kind of have the base. These are just generic, they're already sticky black photo corners. Mm -hmm. I love that this line has the black in it because I think it makes the colors pop. It does, it really sets it off. It does, and so you can just quickly add photo corners to it. And then if you want to grab out of one of these, just an icon that you want to use out of there. We'll do something a little different than the candy jar. Can I use my soda pop bottle? Let's use I your soda him. pop bottle. The nice thing about the two different chipboards that we offer is one is layered and one is more of a flat. So, okay. and they have adhesive on the back. Oh wow, that's always nice. Yes. I like that. One less step that you have to do. And so you can do it straight <gasps> on, you can do it to the side. And then also on our letter stickers, we have a bunch of tabs with words on them and we're gonna use the little carefree. Carefree, neat. And just stick it on the side. So oh. there you have our two little cards. So adorable. One again. is with a sticker and one is with chipboard. So you can use the same pattern, do the different card every time. And like you said before, use your scraps up this way. That's Absolutely. a wonderful way to do that. Absolutely. Well, thank you to you. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you to Madison Echo Park. Love all of this yummy stuff. And, you know, grab you some Echo Park and go out and make a beautiful mess of your paper life. Bye.